guys, it's Daniela again. Thank you so much for clicking onto my video. I really hope you enjoy my content. If you do, I'd love for you to subscribe. So today's video, I'm finally doing my 2020 makeup favorites. This is a video I'm so excited about filming. I love doing these videos and I love watching them. In today's video, I'm not gonna be mentioning any products that I mentioned in my 2019 favorites, just because if they're in that video, best believe I'm still using them, I'm still loving them, so I thought, let me not repeat any products. Also, if I don't speak about a certain category, it's because I'm still using my 2019 favourites for that category. To be honest as well, in 2020, I wasn't really buying makeup as much as I usually do, and I definitely wasn't wearing as much makeup as I used to. All the products that I'm talking about today are actually products that I've got on my face right now. So yeah guys, today's video is my 2020 favourites. I really hope you're excited about this video, and let's get started. For primer, I'm going to mention my e.l.f. Party Primer. I couldn't believe that I didn't mention this in my 2019 favourites but I actually got this in late of 2019 I believe and I didn't mention it then because obviously it was too early to mention it. With this primer I do use it alongside my other favourite primers. This one just fills in my pores, makes my skin look so smooth in this area here where I have the most pores. It just makes my skin look like super smooth like airbrushed when i put makeup over it i just really really like this you could definitely see like a dent in there but it's not a massive massive dent for as much as i use it but i don't use that much of it because you really don't need that much of it especially because i don't put it all over my face i just put it in this area here in this area so yeah that is definitely my favorite primer of 2020. before foundation i've got two foundations here these are both foundations that I discovered in 2020. So the Misha BB Cream is one that I started using, I believe at the beginning of the year, like towards maybe like February or March. I can't remember exactly when I got it, but it was definitely at the beginning of the year. And honestly, this is one of the best BB creams I've used. I really like the coverage it gives on my skin. It gives like a medium to high coverage look. It looks really skin-like. It doesn't look heavy, doesn't feel heavy, it's super lightweight. This was a product that I was non-stop using towards like the beginning of the year. I still definitely use it now. And yeah, I just love this. I highly recommend it. Shade range, as I've said before, is atrocious. Like, <sighs> barely any shade range, basically. I really hope they improve that. I would love to see them extend their shade range because this is a very beautiful fun BB cream, shall I say, in my opinion. My next foundation is this one here. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. <laughs> Honestly, I was not expecting to like this as much as I have. I love this foundation. It is so lightweight but has so much coverage. I can't understand how it's super lightweight. It's a very thin formula but it's got so much coverage and it doesn't look like heavy, it doesn't look cakey. It just looks like skin but with coverage. Another thing, the lasting power on this foundation is actually quite shocking and this honestly looks airbrushed on my skin it's what i'm wearing today it's one of my favorite foundations and yeah i can't believe how good this is and how good it looks on my skin so yeah with these two i'm so happy i bought these i'm so happy i have them in my collection because they're like right and dying now honestly highly highly recommend so my favorite concealer of 2020 is the elf hydrating camo concealer in satin finish i've got the color light sand i did buy it thinking i'm gonna like it but wow do i like it it doesn't make my under eyes look dry or crepey i would say it's got medium to high coverage it blends really easily it blends really nicely like you don't have to work to blend this once i set this it does not crease it does not budge it does not move very hydrating concealer if you didn't like the elf matte one the one with the black lid you're definitely gonna like this i think this is much better than the black one i like the black one but i prefer this one a lot more um, this one reminds me a lot of my Jouer one, if I'm honest. The colour is really nice for me as well. It's a really good colour for my under eye. And I just, I'm so surprised I liked it as much as I did. Another concealer that I'm actually so surprised. I really like it. Not because it's a bad formula, just because I love it for a specific look. So this is the PS My Perfect Colour Ultra Longwear Concealer. I wouldn't say it's like high coverage like it says. I love using this concealer for no makeup looks because this honestly looks like nothing on your skin. Like it gives you coverage but it looks like hardly anything on your skin. You don't have to set it. It doesn't like move around even if you don't set it. It's super lightweight. You cannot feel it on your skin. It's so easy to blend out. It's like literally bang, bang, bang and it's blended out. Like I don't even use at all. I'll just use my fingers. I love how like at the beginning it'll crease, you blend out the creases, 
that's it you don't need to set it it won't be increasing anymore that's it it just does not budge a powder that i've never really mentioned on my channel in like a favorite video is the maybelline fit me loose setting powder this is honestly one of my favorite powders this is like literally up there with my laura mercier it's probably my laura mercier than this one i love this powder what i love about this powder is how smoothing it is how like it just glides over my texture it gives a little bit more coverage because it has a slight tint it gives you a little bit extra coverage which i always like it makes you look airbrushed it like just smooths over all your skin it's also really good at setting my base and keeping my oils at bay for longer this is a powder that even when my oils come through like the laura mercier one it doesn't break apart highly highly recommend i understand the hype this was really hard for me because i love all my liquid blushes the same however i'm gonna choose a favorite just in the sense of it's my most used so i'm talking about the b by super drugs liquid blush in nude the only reason i mention this in my favorite is obviously it's a favorite i love the formula but it's a color that i can literally use with any look this is a stunning formula if you have not tried liquid blushes i highly highly recommend this formula it's like a gel formula which i actually like because it's just it doesn't pick up any of my base products or anything it dries down really easy it dries down like to a matte-ish finish. It is extremely pigmented, so you do not need a lot. So literally one bottle like this is gonna last you so long. And that's why it doesn't even look like I've used a lot of it. It's just a really easy blush to use. You can use your fingers, your brush, your beauty blender, literally any method to blend this out and you can do it. For blush, I'm gonna mention this one here. This is by XX Revolution. I cannot say the name of this blusher. I'll post it up right now. This is one of the blushes that I've loved since basically the later half of this year. I was using this non-stop in like summer and now until like basically December. Even though it's a colour I can use in the summer because it has so much depth, I love using this in the winter as well. The formula is really pigmented, it's not a very powdery blush. If you don't like pigmented blushes, I don't think you'll like this because it is pigmented, like you don't need a lot to pick it up. It is very, very like smooth, it doesn't look chalky or powdery on your skin it lasts a long time so yeah this is a beautiful blusher i highly recommend this color in particular because that's the only one i've used this is a stunning stunning blush and i use this a lot even if i was using the other one i'm going to talk about i was always mixing this one in as well i just couldn't stop myself so the next blusher is in a face palette this is by becca it's the chloe and malika face palette it looks like this so this is my most used blusher from this palette. However, not too long ago, about a couple months ago, I started using this one. I thought this was too glowy. No, no, no. Put this right just at the back of your cheeks. Chef's kiss. This is a stunning palette. I can't believe I never mentioned it in my 2019 favourites. Well, I can. It's because I bought it pretty late and I didn't want to mention it because I hadn't used it that much. But I even loved it then. This is one of my go-to face palettes. This is just stunning. I love the formulas in this. I love the colour. I just love how it looks on my skin. They just look like so skin-like on the skin. And they just blend really easy. Oh, bronzer. This is the bronzer I'm going to mention as well. This is my go-to bronzer. It doesn't even look like I've used it a lot because it's not like fully, it's not flat. But honestly, you don't need a lot because it is like pigmented, not too pigmented. This has got the most beautiful sheen. I love how it looks on my skin. I really like the colour. It's got that beautiful sheen on it. So it just makes your skin look so like sun-kissed and healthy. Honestly, blush, bronzer and highlight. This is my favourite of 2020. Like, these are the products I've been using. Becca should definitely do more of these in my opinion because this formula here banging this really reminds me of my hourglass palette formulas are really similar they're very sheeny and glowy and like just sheer and they're just beautiful tones just honestly if you can get this get it if you can't well i'm sorry i'm talking about it <laughs> another bronzer that i am so sad you can't get this i don't think you can is the l'oreal glam bronze cushion de soleil bronzer so this is a cushion liquid bronzer i love the way this blends on my skin the way it looks on my skin i love the color it gives it's just so easy to blend it is such a stunning formula honestly i would love if l'oreal would do this again but i don't think they will i don't know why because everyone's into like liquids and creams nowadays so this would like make sense for the market for lipsticks 2020 wasn't really the best year for lip products so i wasn't wearing a lot of lip products in 2020 because obviously i was wearing a mask but when i was wearing a lip product it was this one here so this is by l'oreal this is the l'oreal shine lipstick in i don't even know what color it is because it's rubbed off and 
as you can see I have used a lot of it because it's almost at the end I love this lip product it's one of my favorite lip products it feels like a balm it gives you a bit of color but it gives you so much shine and it really just makes my lips look more plump and just more hydrated it's just like so easy to just throw on and just you don't even have to look when you're putting this on because it's that easy kind of lip product so for setting sprays i'm going to talk about two so i'm going to mention this one first this is the ps prime and infuse instant hydration priming spray i don't really use this as a priming spray i use this as like an overall just kind of spray that i put on my face i use this throughout my whole routine like in between every step basically this doesn't change the finish of my base if i have a matte foundation and i put this on it still looks matte it doesn't look glowy and if i have a glowy foundation this doesn't make it any more glowy this is just a really good priming spray i really like it and i couldn't believe i've never mentioned it in the favorite videos because this is the second one that i've had i really like this it smells like pineapples and i highly recommend this if you do see it in primark pick it up it's really good my second setting spray is this one here so this is the l'oreal shake and glow setting spray so this is one that I have to be a bit more cautious with just because it is glowy. I don't usually use this when I'm wearing like a glowy foundation, more so when I'm wearing a matte foundation and it looks too matte. This is definitely like glowy and not glittery or shimmery. This does give you glow. And also like this one, it just allows my powders to settle into my skin, look more skin-like. So yeah, this is just a beautiful hydrating glowy setting spray. If you have more dry skin, I think you'll love this. But yeah, this is one of my favorite glowy setting sprays. And definitely a setting spray that I used a lot in 2020 and I'm really happy to have it in my collection. So for eyeshadow palette, I want to mention this one first. So this is by Huda Beauty. This is the Nude Medium Palette. This has been one of my go-to palettes of this year. Anytime I just want a basic kind of look like today, I use this palette. I just love how compact it is. I really like the formula of this. I really like how smooth the shadows are. It's just a really easy palette to create a beautiful look with. You can go like really simple with it or really glam and smoky with it. The next palettes are by e.l.f. So these two here. So these two are the bite sized e.l.f. palettes. So I've got cream and sugar and pumpkin pie. I really have just loved these two. The formulas are very comparable to what I have already in like higher end brands. The shimmers are stunning so foiled so beautiful i just honestly could not put these down this year i highly recommend these these are only three pounds and the formula is stunning on them this is one of my favorite palettes generally not even like just drugstore these are one of my favorite palettes in general and yeah i highly recommend them i think elf did an amazing job with them so i have two more eye products so i have the ps liquid eyeshadow duo in double date so I most of the time was using the matte one because this is a stunning colour. If you want like a one and done eyeshadow look, this is the one for you. If you're of my skin tone and you like this kind of colour, this is a beautiful colour to just put all over your lids, make it a smoky eye and call it a day. Even on your lower lash line, even if you want to do like a wing liner but you want to do it with this. I've done that before and I really like the outcome. This blends so easily. It gives you enough time to blend it out but still once it's set, it's set and it doesn't budge. I hope they still have this in Primark. I think they do and yeah, highly, highly recommend. I really did love this this year. Another product that I fell in love with this year even though I've had for so long is the MAC Pigment in Tan. I recently done a video testing out like Jessica Bron's favourites or something about Jessica Bron because she mentioned this and she really liked it and I was like I have that why don't I use it well after that video I could not put this down this is what I've got on my lid right now it is so beautiful I highly recommend this color if you're around my skin tone it's such a beautiful like one and done eyeshadow as well if you put this all over your lid and just blend it out it just looks beautiful I just really like this for these kind of looks where it's more simple it's a bit softer it's like that soft glam look this is what I've been using for those kind of looks. And I highly, highly recommend MAC pigments because you get so much product. Obviously, because it is a pigment, you don't need that much. So my last product is one that, as soon as I bought it, there was no more me without freckles. So I'm talking about the Barry and Freckle Tint. I really like the formula of this. It's so easy to just build up freckles. I can never really go wrong with it because it's just so, like, thin like the actual applicator is a really thin applicator. So yeah, 2020 was the year for freckles for me. I loved it. I I'm definitely taking it in 2021. Well, that was the last product for my makeup favorites of 2020. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. 
obviously all these products I spoke about are products I absolutely loved in 2020. They're all products that made me super excited about playing with makeup and putting makeup on. I just really like all of them. These products are obviously highly recommended by me. I love their formulas. I obviously love them. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you did like this video. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.